of a dumpster fire. That may be the only appropriate way to describe what happened today when the NABJ, the National Association of Black Journalists, hosted Donald Trump. It started with Trump attacking one of the three moderators, Rachel Scott of ABC News, after she asked why black voters should trust him given his past comments about members of the black community. And it just went downhill from there as he went after his political opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. I have been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than my answer. Better. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. She's the border czar. She's the worst border czar in the history of the world. There's never been a border czar like this. I'm How do you intend that. and, and She didn't work. pass her bar exam, and she didn't think she would pass it. The Democrat Party is really the one that has the problem. I think they're radical on abortion because they're allowing abortion in the ninth month. They're allowing the but death, I think it's they're allowing freedom, the right? death of a baby after That's the baby is born. Okay. Time for a quick fact check. First off, no, Donald, you are not the best president for black people since Abraham Lincoln, not even close. For instance, you like to claim that you had the lowest black unemployment numbers when, in fact, that happened under President Biden. Second, Pro Vice President Kamala Harris is black. She's always identified as black. Her father, also black. Here she is at the 2006 State African of Amer Black America. She also went to Howard University and is a member of the historically black Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. Imagine a white geezer lecturing a room full of black journalists about who is and isn't black. Third, Vice President Harris was not the border czar. There's no such position in the federal government, Donald. President Biden tasked VP Harris to look at the root causes of undocumented mass migration to the United States and to negotiate compacts in Central America to slow the flow of migrants, which he did, including with Guatemala not to monitor the border. Fourth, Kamala Harris absolutely passed the bar exam. That is how she became the district attorney of San Francisco and the attorney general of the state of California. And as a successful prosecutor, Donald, that is how she will own you in the next debate if you're not too chicken to show up. And finally, while we've debunked this one multiple times on this show, we must say yet again that no, Democrats do not support the killing of infants after birth. That is called infanticide, and it is very, very illegal. A word you know a lot about, Donald, given your 34 count felony conviction. Also illegal, having an elective abortion in the ninth month of a pregnancy, which just as an idea is actually insane. Having said all of that, I also just want to say one quick thing about this invitation to the president and board of NABJ. Y'all got played. Donald Trump showed up at the convention for exactly three reasons. One, to try to dispel the notion that he's scared to debate a black woman, a presumption one can draw from his refusal to commit to debating, B, to debating VP Harris, who again, for those in the back, is a black and Asian woman. It's also why he lost it like a grumbly senior at the retirement home who didn't get his jello dessert when ABC's Rachel Scott challenged him to answer basic questions. And how likely is it that he would have shown up at all if the lady from the network that paid a $787 million legal settlement for spreading the big lie wasn't included on the panel? Second, to steal the attention that Vice President Kamala Harris has hijacked from him because she's just more interesting and her support is more joyous and rooted in popular American culture. And three, to create clips to play for his very white, very right-wing MAGA fan base of him standing up to the blacks. Joining me now is April Ryan, White House correspondent for